Hi, I'm Janet from Buggy Barn and today I'm going to share with you some of our favorite tools and tips for needle turn applique. And I'm going to start with the tools. And the very first thing you need is freezer paper and it's got the wraps uh, coating on the back and just the paper surface on the other side. And you can find that in the canning section of your local grocery store. You need um, both paper scissors and fabric scissors. Uh, we use 100% cotton thread. It's best to match uh, fiber to fiber. Use cotton thread with cotton fabric. The silk thread and polyester thread are both stronger than the cotton fibers and can tear uh, your motif. So it's best, we feel, to stick with cotton thread. Um, I use a straw needle, a size 10. 10 or 11 is fine. This is the, about the size of, this is the size of the 10. And uh, it has a little bit thicker shaft than a size 11. And so I don't bend it. So I do prefer the 10s. You need um, sharp needle nose scissors. For clipping your points. Um, if they aren't sharp, then your fabric frays. And so you this is really important that your scissors are sharp. And then in uh, lieu of pins, we use glue based it to glue our, all our motifs down, and then you don't have to worry about uh, losing those pins for your husbands to step on. And then as far as our marking tools, uh, I do use a permanent fine point sharpie. This is really good for marking on the brushed homespuns. This is really nice. I probably would not recommend this for beginners uh, just in case you don't get your lines turned under. I also use just a regular old number two pencil. Uh, that works great and especially if you're not going to use the sharpie then just stick with a regular old number two uh, I also like these Roxanne's Quilter's Choice in either the silver and the white for marking on the dark, the blacks, and the navies and the dark greens when, where your pencil line won't show up. So those are just some basic pencils. Some other tools that I like, I like this uh, circle template for uh, making accurate, uh, perfect circles. And then this is a cork board that I just glued a piece of fine sandpaper onto the back and this we put our fabric on here when we're tracing around our motifs and so it keeps the fabric from slipping. So those are the tools that we um, that we use and then to start to get started you've got your pattern and you're going to take your freezer paper and you're going to lay it down here and trace out, trace each of your motifs, like I've done here with the star. And we'll scoot over here and we'll get our leaves traced. Okay, and once you have each motif um, traced, then you're just going to take paper scissors and cut right on the line and cut cut each of your motifs out. Okay, so these are your templates that you've made from your master. Okay, and once your star is cut out, which I have here, we're going to take that over um, and your, your leaves go obviously on your leaf fabric. Your star fabric is going to come over here and it gets ironed onto the right side of your fabric. And you want to be sure to leave enough room for your seam allowance. And you just press that on and the freezer paper with the wax on the back, uh, it sticks, sticks to your fabric. Then I'm going to just grab my sandpaper board slide that under and then we're going to trace right around your motif.
And again, the important thing with your marking pencils is that you can see the line. The line gets turned under, and so as long as the line's under, it doesn't really matter what you're using. And I like this fine point sharpie because I can see. I can see my line. All right, and then I do leave the freezer paper on there just while I am cutting this out. And you're going to cut with a scant quarter of an inch all the way around. And at the star points, I do I flatten it off about a quarter of an inch from the point. I just score that off and then turn the corner and keep cutting. So I've got one here that I have finished and I've got the lines marked and then you take your freezer paper off and you're done with the freezer paper. We don't leave it on. So once all your motifs are prepared, we're going to come over here but we're going to come back to our pattern. Now, um, up here I am working with a dark background and so we're going to get to that uh, in a minute but if I did have a light background I could lay my background fabric right over my master and I can still for placement I can see where my different motifs need to go so I can just lay those in place And, and just and glue them right down where they need to be. But because I'm working on that black background, we're going to take a little bit different approach. And so I'm working on either a master or a copy of the master um, without the background. And I'm going to just put my pieces on here. leaves placed. I've got to get my flower. Here's my uh, back piece of my flower. So that goes there. And then here is the center part. And I'm going to just, again, when you put your glue on, you want to stay away, just small dots, and you want to stay a little ways away from the black line so that when you turn your, you're actually turning your line under that the glue's not in the way. So here's your little black mark for where this one goes. So that's going to go right there. So we've got that one glued down. And we're going to check these leaves. So these are um, coming in on the vine. So I'm going to run a line of glue right here. And then get this stem in position. Okay, and then we'll put some glue here. Check that point. That's where that's supposed to go. Glue dots there. Glue dots there and glue dots across the bottom of this flower. And we'll take this vine. that down and then come right down that line. So there we go. We've got that all in position. Then the last thing we have to do, so we'll put a little dot, a couple dots on the end of that. Here's our bottom flower. And then we'll put some dots here. It's just where the fabrics meet. flower in position and the last one is your center circle this again I've used a um, just I've used the circle template and just traced around it to get that circle and again we're going to stay away from the line that we're turning under and then this I just eyeball center it because I can't see your circle okay so there, I've got, and I've already glued these down also, so they're all working as one unit. 
And so the last thing we have to position is the star. So I'm going to just check. Okay, that's the way, that's the orientation we want. So I'm going to put the glue on just where the vines stick under the star. Okay, so then, while that dries, I'll let that dry for a minute, and then we're going to go over to the iron with my background. We're going to just um, iron this in half so we can find our middle. One way, and then we'll iron it again the other way. Okay, that's marked our center. Okay, we'll come back over here. 